the draw today. And this is the second quarter, as you can see. And the reason why this match was not played yesterday as all the other uh, matches from the top half of the draw is because all the players who took part in the finals day at the German Open, the event only finishing on Sunday, are exempt from playing on the first day of the tournament here in France and uh, get to play on the second day, the Wednesday. And that applies across all five disciplines. So I think that's a very fair solution. And it is something that happens at all World Tour events when we have a back-to-back -back World Tour events one week after another. So the Popoff brothers from France. Leading out the two pairs and they're getting a very warm reception from the fans here at the Adidas Arena. Well, both the Popoff brothers have already played in this tournament. They've uh, both played their singles matches and both lost. If you were with us earlier uh, today, Christo Popov lost to the former champion, Xi Chi in two straight games. Well, this is the second meeting between these two pairs and the only previous uh, time they met, uh, which was at the Indonesian Masters earlier this year, in January this year. That was a 500 event played in Jakarta. 21-10 in the deciding game. Herji Ting and Ren Xiang Yu won. So they've chosen ends, I believe, the Popoff brothers. Or perhaps the Chinese chose yeah. to receive or... Yeah, I couldn't really see what... Um, it looked to me like the Chinese chose the far side. So Christo Popov uh, will turn 22 on Friday. Two days time, born in Sofia, the capital of uh, Bulgaria. And 179, that's about 5 foot 10. And they're currently 42 on the world rankings. A second a pair from France on the world rankings at the moment, behind Corvée and Labar. Thomas Junior is 25 years of age, and he's a very tall athlete, 196. That equates to just over six foot five. Now he's even taller than Victor Axelson. Ji Ting and his partner, here's his partner, Ren Xian Wu. He's 25 years of age, uh, from Luzhou in southeast Sichuan province, landlocked province in southwest China. And they're enjoying their fifth consecutive week at their career high of 14. Er Ji Ting turned 26 last month from Shouwu in Fujian province. And he has been as high as 10 with Tang Tiang, with whom he won the silver medal at the World Championships in Huelva in 2021. Two finals already this year for the Chinese pair. In fact, the last two tournaments that they've played, they won the Thailand Masters 300, and as I was telling you, lost in the final of the German Open last week. So Chris Yip from Hong Kong, China, is our umpire for this one. And Ivo Kassel from Switzerland, the service judge. Popov father on the right as we look at them. 
former Bulgarian and then French international player. And for the Chinese, Chin Chi Chu. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ren Xiangyu and Fe Qiting, China. And on my left, Christoph Popov, Thomas Junior Popov, France. <laughs> Ren Xiangyu to serve to Thomas Junior Popov. Love all, play. So both pairs unseeded the Chinese combination of He Ji Ting and Ren Xianyu against the Popoff brothers. A good opening rally, my goodness. Christo, the left-hander of the two Popoff brothers. And they have enjoyed uh, some success in the men's doubles discipline, but really only in European terms. Yeah. They were bronze medalists at the European Games in the men's doubles. And they both medalled in the men's singles at those European Games last year. Christo getting the silver medal and Toma Junior the bronze. couple of finals at International Challenger or International Series events in Europe as well. Oh. But one suspects, Steen, that uh, uh, the fact that the French players, of course they take their men's doubles seriously, but the real desire is to do well in men's singles and you're playing against a pair that's very much in the rise yeah. in world badminton it's a tall order isn't it for the french pair it is but it's also oh. uh, sort of a testament to their sort of um the badminton eye that they can play such a reasonably good double without ever practicing it as i hear that they don't do they only practice singles wow oh. i didn't know that they play club Two, matches. Uh, I think they play both mixed doubles and, and men's doubles in club matches as well. But apparently only practice is um, single. Surface over. Yeah, it's a real rarity these days, isn't it? I mean, uh, can you think of anybody else off the top of your hat that plays uh, singles and doubles at the very elite level? No. No. Exactly. We know of, of players that play two doubles disciplines, yeah. but that's rather different. It is. Because the um, demands in terms of strength and physique is totally different from doubles to, uh, to singles disciplines. Of course, there's some uh, sort of translation where you can use some of your double skills in singles and uh, vice versa. That's a great smash yeah, and from set Herji up. Ting. And set up by a good serve as well from Ren. Yeah, good tumble serve. Yeah. And of course, if you're a singles player, focusing on singles, you don't practice the tumble oh. serve because it's not a... 
the same value in uh, the men's single. No, exactly. Oh, that's a good serve. Out attack by the Chinese combination. And they're playing with the drift, so we're giving their attack a bit more bite, making it very difficult for the pop offs. A big, big part of um, being a doubles player is having fast reactions in the uh, double defense, and uh, yeah, if you don't practice that, then um, it's really, really difficult. There we see it. Ten four. Well, from four all, the Chinese pair have just blasted away. Seven straight points from an 11 4 lead at the mid game interval. So on a run, technically it was seven straight points. Ji Ting and Ren Xian Yu. Lucky neck call though. <laughs> yeah. Christo Popov. How's your Bulgarian? Uh, very limited. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the positive uh, <laughs> version. <laughs> I think he told them to speed up a bit. Yeah. Six, eleven. Did, didn't he touch? Maybe not. Service over. No. no. 12 6. Oh! And that's the strongest um, formation with uh, Crystal Popov, the left hand at uh, the front court, and uh, Toma with his. Um, Height and his big, big smash at the back court, and they need to to get on the attack. That's well left. Service over. Thirteen seven. I think there's a lot of pirouettes in the uh, Chinese game at the moment. 
Who's the second within three rallies? Oh, this looks very spectacular, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But when they get on the attack, Chinese combination, they do look very impressive. Yeah. They've really done well since they were put together. Yeah. And I think they're a very important part of um, China's um, quest for um, the Thomas Cup. Yeah, they actually played one match together at the World Junior Championships mixed yeah, team. Yeah, competition. they did. Yeah. And won it convincingly. And then they reformed their partnership at the Arctic Open in Finland last year. And they've already been in three finals since Service over. forming their partnership. 15, eight. It's not likely that they will be able to overtake oh. Liu uh, Yuchen and Wu um, spot as Olympic qualifiers, but but two finals in um, in France and all England, or a final in uh, Asian Championship, uh, uh, yeah, Asia uh, Championships. That that could do the trick for them. So it's not totally uh, out of the question. No. That's good play. Ten, the movement ten, forward eight. from uh, Krista Popov puts pressure on uh, Rent's shot. High quality is required. Black. <laughs> oh. Service over. 1610 oh. It looks to me as if the Popoff brothers are surprised by drive defences. Yeah, and, and they're not the, really looking for it. No, and they're doing a good job, Hu Jiting and, um, and Ren, in terms of when they're lifting, they're oh. not giving too much height away on the lift. So uh, over. the smasher is a little Eleven, bit stressed seven. in the smashes. Just what I sort of wanted to see in the women's doubles we saw a couple of matches ago. Did you try to put the, pr the smasher under pressure? Service over. 18-11. Towards that left hip of the left-hander. Perfect placement of the smash. Is it the moment... The Chinese get on the attack 19, from the far side there. There's very few uh, rallies where the Popos are surviving that. And um, when they change ends, they get a little bit of help, but but still it's, it's singles defense 20, against doubles attack. Game point opportunities. Oh. Yeah, convert on their first impressive first opening game. game. Won by 13 and Yuan Xiangyu, 21-11. 21-11 confirms the umpire in favour of Her Ji Ting and uh, Ren Xian Wu. 14 minutes only for the opening game. <laughs>
Pot one twenty seconds, pot one twenty seconds. Second game, level play. So Herji Ting and Rin Xian Wu, one game to the goods. Over. Any ideas from your perspective, One Steen, long. as to uh, what the Popoff brothers should be trying to achieve here tactically to uh, turn this around? They've got to uh, focus on the uh, service situation, find the gaps and, and get on the attack. Otherwise, it's, it looks very, very difficult. Service so uh, even more emphasis on um, the return of serve and when you... Hold the serve yourself, serve, and, uh, and third shot. Out. Foot. Service over. Two, one. <laughs> That's all out uh, defense there. Yeah. They were encroaching forward, weren't <laughs> yeah. they? Determined to take the defensive shot early. <laughs> Look at them, both of them. Yeah. But I, I kind of like it because, I mean, if they just play defensive defense, then they're going to lose it eventually. So yeah. why not take the chance and put pressure on your opponents? You might have um, uh, the, the reactions needed. Yeah. I agree. Service over. Longest rally Two so off. far, 23 shots. <laughs> That's nothing in badminton terms, is it? No. Oh! It's their turn to get a little bit of help on the attack. The Popovs hitting with the drift. Oh, my goodness. He almost caught the shuttle on his racket there. That didn't seem like a, a clean shot to me. Actually playing a little bit better defense here in the second game, the Popovs, they get a little bit help. The drift is holding back the Chinese smashes and uh, adding a little extra speed to their defensive shots. But in the long run, there's only one outcome if um, they play defense versus offense. That's good play. Yeah. Not much body rotation on that smash. It's more or less purely with the arm. That's really impressive. From Thomas Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Service over. Four, five. Uh, that's a good return of serve from her cheating. Oh. 
five all. It's very difficult because the Six, Chinese pair, five. you know, you've already said, Steam, when they get on the attack, they're very impressive. But they're also very good at changing their defense into attack yeah. by the drive defense. So really, unless the Popov brothers are able to put it away within two or three shots of hitting then down, they're, then, then they're in trouble. Then they're in trouble. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, even if they'd been playing doubles solely and, and practicing fully, and they would they, they would still have been uh, the underdogs, perhaps, in this match. Yeah. Service over. Six all. Service over. Seven, six. Both of them accomplished doubles players in the junior days where Toma Popov won the European Championships with Tom Shikel. And they regrouped last year at the uh, Sudirman Cup Europeans and uh, won the men's doubles against Danes, Kim Astrup and uh, Frederick Sogard. Six and almost turned the tables on the Danes in the final there, ended up losing 3-2, losing the women's doubles, so... Quite a powerful combination they can uh, put up in uh, the yeah. Thomas Cup coming up where France also has qualified. Three strong men's singles and then uh, perhaps Toma Popov and uh, Tom Schickel in uh, second men's doubles. That's, um, that's something to keep an eye out for. Yeah. That meant throw yourself at it <laughs> in Bulgarian. <laughs> this is a lovely little backhand block from Ho Ji Ting. His father's looking a little bit concerned Nine, right now, six. isn't he? Seven of the last eight points to the Chinese pair. Service over. Seven, ten. And the Popovs there in um, a battle for Olympic qualification, actually, uh, with uh, Labar and Kobe. They're neck to neck. I think it's 500 points that's between them. and. Kobe and Labar, they got a good win today, earlier on when they defeated Asan and uh, Sechuan. So In three games. Yeah. yeah. Oi. Unsighted. So, the instant review is asked to adjudicate. Toma doesn't realize he can look at the screen. No, <laughs> exactly. There, <laughs> yeah, here we go. That was clearly oh, wrong. Nobody loses any challenges there. Seven, seven, interval. So it's 11 7 at the mid game interval in favor of Herji Ting and Ren Xian Yu. 
，跟他对上就很好。啊，后面呢，都是四比四比六这一下，我们八加八又抓得好，然后连接比较快，你挤他的打连续他就很难受了。Clock one twenty seconds. Clock one twenty seconds. Coaches, coaches, please return to your chair. Eleven seven. Play. So 11 7 to the Chinese pair of He Chi Ting and Ren Xian Wu. Oh, big swipe. There was the half chance you were talking about, Steve. Absolutely stepped into that, did Crystal. Look at the big swipe there from Toma. Oh, that's got the home crowd going a little. Oh, behind the back. Thirteen nine. Oh, there's a little bit of frustration creeping in with the French pair. Not entirely in agreement with Dad, I don't think, at the back of the court. Service over. Ten thirteen. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Service over. And to me, Steen, it's quite obvious that the uh, quality needed for elite level men's doubles defensively is, is missing from the French players. No. Yeah. I was broken strings there from Ren Xian Yu. Oh. 
Yeah. You can see the strings have gone. Let, play a let. Great images. is a remarkable comeback. Yeah, and, and I thought just a moment ago, if it gets a little close, I think he's the one, Oren Xian Yu, uh, that could break under pressure. Well left. All in a crisis there. Her cheating. Sixteen fifteen. Uh, that was sort of a half smash and the change of pace really disturbed Yun Xianu on his defensive play. position had that shuttle come back he was going to be in dark trouble but he played the winner that's fabulous from Christo Popov oh, and once again they're back level into the lead.
That was over. 18 all. Yeah, but yeah. Mm, the Popoff brothers both going for the same shot at the front of the court, got in each other's way. Okay, place on court. in air courts. Yeah, we thought he might. Two points away from taking this second game. Who would have thought? Game and 10-14 down. Yeah. Service over. All about placement. 19 Clever. Another string gone. But it is a match point opportunity for the Chinese pair of Herji Ting and Ren Xiamu. Match point 19. was a fair amount of psychology on making opponents wait before the serve. Opponents wiggling their rackets while waiting to <laughs> receive the serve. All part of sport. So 20 all, an extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Oh, a service error. Service over. 21-20. So a second match point opportunity for the Chinese pair. turned into a very exciting second game. But the Chinese pair of He Ji Ting and Ren Xian Wu safely through to the second round against the Popoff brothers, Crystal and Toma Junior. 21-11, 22-20 in a match lasting just under 40 minutes. 21-11, 22-20. Well, after the mid-game interval of the second game, the Popov brothers just uh, threw everything at this game. They rushed forward to the net when they had no right to do so. Uh, they made it count. Um, 
about last week's uh, beaten finalists at the German Open. Erji Ting and Ren Xian Wu safely through, as you can see, 39 minutes for 21 11, 22 20. So that's it uh, for today, the end of our first round matches. The coverage tomorrow, second round action a little later than today. It is 12 noon local time, that's 1100 GMT. So in the meantime, until tomorrow from all of us here, especially from Steam Pedersen and myself, Jill Clark, bye for now. <laughs>